Ghanaian Times uh, says looming disaster, Dabwasi water treatment plant in danger as Galamsi activities pollute River Pra. Ghana Water Company limited rations water to residents in Amemfi East area. Alleged coup plot accused appeals for medical attention at Kolebu. Nine suspected coronavirus cases proved negative, according to the Noguchi uh, Institute. The Finder newspaper, nine suspected coronavirus cases test negative. Health Minister urges public to remain calm. No judgment debt will result due to the Unipass deal, according to the GRA. And Ghana Port and Harbour Authority commissions three tugboats to improve turnaround time of vessels. Coronavirus, urgent steps to safeguard the nation's borders underway. And the Daily Guide, Otum 4 helps Ghana to get $174 million from World Bank. Fear and panic grips Kolebu over Chinese Ebola. That's how the Daily Guide calls it. And EC's new register, appropriate uh, committee, N NDC avoids Mahama Ebas scandal. Why? We'll tell you more. GBA slaps Alote with six-month suspension. You saw that uh, assault there. He's been suspended for six months, so he cannot uh, engage in any professional boxing activity. My guest this morning, lawyer Abraham Amaleba, is the lead uh, for the NDC's legal team, also a member of the communication team. And Nana Kofi Opong Dawa speaks for the Energy Ministry, is also a member of the MPP's communication team. Gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good How morning. are we, sirs? Quite well. Okay, let's begin from the NDC's quarters. Yesterday, they held a press conference and they were focusing of course, on, on Galamse issues and missing excavators and all the issues in between, not the Airbus. We'll ask uh, Nana Damwa where the Airbus uh, investigation, if it started or not. But mm -hmm. first, take a listen to what uh, the NDC's communication officer, Sami Jeffy, had to say. When we're done, we'll go to Parliament and hear Yao Bwabia Samwa, he's the MP for Adenta, and also the MPP's Director of Communications on uh, the matters arising from the secret tape uh, recorded from the Office of the Minister for Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, Professor Kwabna Frimpong Boatin. Take a, take a listen to the, the two tapes. The opposition NDC's claim follows reports of missing excavators seized from some illegal small-scale miners, as revealed by the Minister of Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, Professor Kwabena Frimpong Boatin. Speaking at a news conference in Accra on Thursday, National Communications Officer of the NDC, Sami Jemfi, insisted the missing excavator saga goes to confirm the suspicion that government only wanted to enrich MPP bigwigs through the illegal activity. This Galamsey scandal is a result of a grand scheme set up by President Ekufuadu himself to enrich MPP officials to finance the new patriotic party. This is the reason he populated the inter-ministerial committee against illegal mining and anti-Galamsey committees with top MPP officials such as Ekowa Wisi, Charles Bissu, among others. Sami Jemfi made mention of the Galamse fraud documentary by ace investigative journalist Anas Arimiya Anas, in which a presidential staffer, Charles Bissu, was caught collecting money to facilitate mining. Apart from the Galamse kingpin, Charles Bissu, several actors within the Kufuado government have in one way or the other compromised the fight against Galamse whilst President Okufuado looks on unconcerned. He went ahead to outline instances the president failed to act to end the menace, suggesting it was all deliberate in order to get the MPP bigwigs to enrich themselves. It is important that we appreciate and realize that, yes, a grave matter has happened. But that grave matter happened because Professor Frimpong Boati himself raised it. It was not as if somebody else raised it for him. So Professor Frimpong Boati's integrity, as far as that difficult office is concerned, to me, is intact. Now, the question is, what do you do once the matter he raised has come up? As we speak, the excavators or some of the excavators i can't tell the exact numbers have been found and beyond that people have been arrested i have seen that tape 
I don't think Frimpon Boatin said anything out of the ordinary. The areas where illegal mining was most endemic are areas where we don't doubt the MPP strongholds. Are they not? These are areas where the vote tends to be higher for the NDC, uh, MPP. To the extent that MPP activists are also entitled eh, to participate in legal mining. Read my lips. They are also entitled to participate in what? Legal community mining. Then there is absolutely nothing wrong with Frimpon Boating facilitating community mining options for those people. And I heard on that tape distinctly from Paul Boatin saying that go and find out from the Ashanti Regional Chairman's concession. Am I correct? The word concession was used. A concession is a legal authority, legal license to access mining lands. And therefore, wound to miss concessions are legal. Including John Bordeaux. No, John Bordeaux hasn't done anything. John Bordeaux had a discussion to facilitate access for, and that is where it ended. That's the NPP's Director of Communications and also MP for Adenta, Yababie Samoa. And uh, before that, you heard Sami Jeffy is the uh, Communications Officer for the NDC. Now, now, let me start with you because we certainly know that the Ghana Water Company is complaining of the effect of Galamse, especially in the Wasa and Menfi East. Uh, district of the of the western region where they are now rationing water in parts of the western region and they say look the Kalamse hasn't stopped as much as we have been made to believe as early as january professor from Paul Martin said 90 percent of the work has been done but it does appear this is not going away what do you say with the back and forth do you think this is a failed war or a war in limbo good morning to you Good morning to your viewers as well. I do not believe that this is a failed war. I do not believe that this is a war in limbo. I think that this government has shown beyond reasonable doubt that it is very committed to the fight to save our natural resources and our environment. The president has said that he's not concerned about the next election, mm. but he's concerned about the next generation. And that shows in a lot of the things that he has endeavored to do throughout his presidency launch of uh, programs mostly targeted at ensuring that Ghana is industrialized mm -hmm. so that the development rate of this country can increase and also free SHS which ensures that the next generation of this country is equipped with the necessary tools to mm -hmm. be able to um, take that leadership mantle that will be left to them. As regards this issue of Galamse mm -hmm. and the issues of they coming back among others, first of all, uh, a bit of <coughs> history will tell mm -hmm. you that a blanket uh, ban was instituted at the very beginning of, of, of this government. Okay. A lot of people were against this concept of a blanket ban because, mm -hmm. you know, uh, it affects the livelihoods of individuals. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it prevents certain activities that makes people earn money. And a lot of things were done in opposition to that blanket ban. I remember the NDC at various points in time issued statements and even made pronouncements to the effect that the blanket ban doesn't help issues and that they would not have handled matters in such a like. Remember that when they were in office, mm -hmm. we didn't see any attempt to fight uh, Galamse on the scale that we saw it okay. in the early parts of this administration. Now, it's, it's a social problem that we have. And remember, it affects the livelihoods, as I've already said, of a lot of individuals. So as is normal with any society, you implement a reform, and then the, the, the interested parties in that reform would go back, sit down, evaluate, and find a way to also give you a pushback. Okay. I see what is happening as a part of a pushback. From, from which quarters? Those that are very interested in ensuring that they make whatever money it is that they make mm. from, from Galamse or from whatever activities, be small mining, be it legal or illegal. So a measure was introduced at the very beginning of this government, mm. a novelty. It worked to a point, about 90% of the work was done. Now what we are seeing is that the interested parties, the stakeholders, mm. have now reorganized themselves and are given us a pushback. Fingers have been pointed at <clears throat> members of Galam Stop, Operation Vanguard, who were taxed to stop this. That's right. And, and if you look at the investment we have made, look, $500,000 to procure drones, um, military, police, immigration, 
we, we couldn't have failed with all the support and the energy that we put into this. That's we why I'm saying that this is a social thing. <clears throat> there was a lot of money that was being made. And you can expect that those individuals that were making those amounts of monies were not just going to sit down and fold their arms and watch their businesses go astray, even mm. though the effect on the larger Ghanaian community is negative. Mm. They, those that were profiting, would also try and do whatever it is that they can mm. to ensure that they are able to sustain their businesses no matter what. Now it has become obvious that they are given a pushback. It's obvious that look, some you know illegal activities have gone on, and some persons have been influenced. Individuals who were charged mm. to ensure that um, these activities are brought to a stop. As you've mentioned, some members of Galam stop. I don't have any evidence to that effect, but it's all. And I, but then it will be you know uh, very absurd for me mm. to say that I haven't heard the suggestions out there mm. that indeed um, very powerful persons who were supposed to have ensure that these things were stopped. Members of the exact tax force that were sent out to ensure that these things have stopped have been, um, you know, have been bought in mm. court and are continuing to work with these individuals to ensure that the activities continue. Listen, what we need to do now mm. is to sit at the table again okay. and tweak the systems that we have in place okay. to ensure that we achieve the necessary results. I'll use the example of, of the malaria but is it, is it, I don't know whether it's called a parasite or whatever. Mm. Over time, there's a treatment. Over time, yeah. as we continue mm. to, you know, give that same treatment, it adapts. Okay, chloroquine. To it. To ACT. And then mm. now we have to move from that and increase the efficacy of the drugs to okay. ensure that we are still achieving the to results. Based so it's drugs. a social condition that we have. What we now have to do is we realize that the set of measures that we put in place mm. are now being fought back. So we need to sit down, look at where the loopholes are, and tighten the... MP4, Asin Central, Kennedy Japan, is also a very strong member of your party. He's alleging that, look, gold and gold ore that were seized have all been consumed, if you will, in quote, by Professor Frimpong Boating and, and the entire team. Because when they get into a Galamse point, and yesterday somebody told me that, look, if you get to a, a regular Galamse point, we are being told to focus on excavators but there's more than excavators there are gold there's gold there's gold ore there are generators there are water pumps there are uh, vans there are pickups there are plenty other things that are seized and he says we should be looking at them because we can't find the gold pretty much like we couldn't find the excavators what do you say one of the things i love about my party is that um the head mentality is missing so you would not or you cannot expect that because it is a party issue a member of the party is involved <laughs> you're going to see a whip system in place and everybody toes that line no so mr kennedy japan has mm. made these allegations you can expect that you see first he, of all, he made them two two years ago as well no challenge all i'm saying is that first of all the current situation that we find ourselves in was raised by the minister himself okay so he came out and said listen we're having challenges with, with some of these problems with some of these issues some excavators are missing. It was the minister himself that announced it. And that has led to a series of actions that is seen, uh, investigations and some of the, these excavators being brought back among others. Mr. Kennedy, Japan. And, and, and the leaked video where Party Yasika was mentioned, and the minister didn't reprimand the gentleman making that, eh, Mr. Wusi? I'm not sure that he did not reprimand. Again, what did I'm you, asking, Did you hear a reprimand is, in the video? What, what, what you have seen is a video. Uh, can you tell that is a full video? It's been edited. What was the duration of the full video? Okay. These are questions that we all need Do to Do you ask. have the full video? Oh, but chief. No, this, I don't this, know. This, but you're telling me. This is an No, you're I'm saying, telling me. You're no, telling me this is not a full video. I'm, saying, I'm just. I'm not saying this. Is, I'm saying that. Listen, a video has been put out there for mm. whatever purposes. You should look at first of all who is leaking it and why. Okay. And the statements that have been made after it. I mean, there are investigative bodies in this country right. that can conduct investigations into these things and come up with their findings. So I, I would really not want us to veer that. That's okay. what I wanted to do. So wrap up for and me on the I, 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 also, I mm. also made that statement to seek to correct the notion that you are saying categorically mm. that the minister did not reprimand. Okay. So the, I, the video, the video we, we watched and listened to, I mean, when he went to the minister's office, that they're in two parts. The first part, in fact, the minister told him to get out of his office because the things he's saying and how he's saying them, it doesn't really augur well for him, for him and that he's preparing for something tomorrow. Then subsequently, he goes on asking a step-by-step -step question and even goes on to make 
the statement that party in Yasika, the minister said party in Yasika, there was no reprimand like we saw in the first part. See, and that's what, I'm, that's what I'm submitting to you. Does that worry you? Now, this is what I want to also say to you. The same minister made a categorical mm. statement and sacked the individual from his office the first time. That's there. He didn't sack him. He told him to get out. The gentleman stayed. I don't know what... Um, you haven't seen the video? I have seen the video, okay. but this is the point I'm trying to make. If I tell you to get out of my office, I'm not, I'm, I'm not sacking, I'm welcoming you. Okay. That's a question I want to ask you. So he made a categorical <clears throat> statement to the individual and said, get out of my office because okay. I'm preparing for something. And that's true. If Ms. Professor Fempom Boateng was very much an integral part of all of this, I don't see how that would have happened. Okay. And again, I'm submitting to you that perhaps we need to tarry a while <clears throat> on these issues of these videos because I'm, I'm very sure that the investigative bodies will look into that. Okay. The statement of Mr. Kennedy Japon, mm. what I have said to you is that, listen, the party doesn't have a head mentality. Mm. You've seen the same party individuals that are very close to the extent that Mr. Uzi could walk into Professor Fimpon okay. Boateng's office and have various conversations with him. Now, Professor Fimpon Boateng is the same individual that wrote to the Ghana police and said, listen, this individual, I believe, is a part of a ring mm. that is causing all of these problems. All I'm seeking to submit to the people of Ghana is that that tells you that there is no head mentality, various allegations are going to come up, and like the president has said, all of these things will be investigated and any individual found culpable of any offense whatsoever will be dealt with according to the law thank you very much council stepping for me the albabia samoa says the names that have been mentioned in the in the leaked video including chemaun to me his concession is legal uh, john boydo has done nothing and we are just blowing the issues perhaps out of proportion now, Kennedy Japan is pointing us to ask questions about gold and gold ore and other things that could have possibly been seized from this Galamsey point. What do you say? Nana says, we are investigating it, so tarry a bit. What do you say? So, good morning to your listeners. If you try to wrap your head around all that is going on within the MPP and particularly those who have been assigned the responsibility to deal with this matter, mm -hmm. where there is infighting amongst them, is a clear indication of confusion in the fight against Galamse. Really? Because <coughs> this ministerial committee to stop Galamse mm -hmm. was put together by the president to stem the tide mm. to ensure that Galamse is a thing of the past. Absolutely. Now, we have those same people mm. who are supposed to help in the fight, mm -hmm. accusing each other. How can you term this, if not confusion, within the camp of the government that is supposed to be fighting for himself. Look, were we not told by a we see in uh, I think a police um, statement that um, the sale of um, the, 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 the the what is the name of those uh, excavators, excavators mm -hmm. was a policy by the MPP administration to finance to the the proceeds of those sales will be used to finance the party. It's not coming from the NDC. That is a, one man who is in trouble who, who decides to say that. We don't know that for a fact, do we? If that one man were somebody who was not close to the committee, mm -hmm. I can say that, yes, your submission will be right. But this is a person who was in charge of the tax force. Mm -hmm. And if that person is telling you what the motive is about the sale of the uh, of the uh, I don't know why I call excavators. them excavators. excavators. You and I cannot be talking about somebody who is in pain. I am shocked at the way and manner in which, when seized excavators are sent to designated. Uh, parking lot mm -hmm. when indeed the minerals and mining act is clear on how these things are treated when you seize them you are even talking about 
uh, gold. Yes, mm. it tells you how those things must be treated. There's gold when you get there, when you bust the, 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 the syndicate, mm. you receive, you take gold dust, mm. you take some, even there's fiscal cash. Right. Yes. And it tells, the law tells how those things should be treated. It says that you hand them over to the police. What if the police doesn't have space? No, 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 no. I'm asking you. The police will always have space. If the police come and put something here, okay. that is the space. That's okay. the police guarding it. Okay. So forget about, f but the police should be in control. Okay. So they can create an ad hoc space, they can but they must be the in guard. In charge. Okay. Exactly. But you don't create your own. Eh? There's someone in Obuasi, someone in Accra here. Uh, I'm told someone in somewhere in uh, 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 Ashali so it was wrong for it was wrong for the ministry to have gotten the interministerial committee to have gotten a private contractor to keep the that is Mr. Wusi to keep the excavator. Is that what you're saying? That is a criminal mind. When you now see what they have done, it tells you they are criminal mind. It should have been in the custody of the police. Then the law goes further to say that within a certain period of time, particularly for the excavators, mm. you distribute I've forgotten the number of days. You distribute them to state agencies that are in that, that have need for them okay. so for instance you can send uh, these assemblies maybe mm. they will need them mm. to be grading their roads you've not done this you've created your own parking lot then you are removing them one after other, selling them and then now you sit here and say that oh was it not the minister who blew the whistle is that not the case haven't you seen instances where <laughs> a watchman has gone to the police station to report and he himself is a Prime suspect. They've picked the watchman himself. You are innocent on to proving guilty. I, I'm not saying that that watchman is guilty, mm -hmm. but they pick him because he's a prime suspect. Right. Even though he's a police, he's a watchman who reported that, oh, this morning, over the night, uh, thieves came and broke in here. But he himself will be picked. So yeah. that is not to go and be congratulating the policeman, uh, the, the, the watchman. Investigations may even point at the watchman. So, let's not behave as if the fight against Galamse is chalking any success. The president said he'll put his presidency on the line. Right. Is the presidency on the line now? You have cited Ghana Water Company, mm -hmm. producers of uh, the Ghanaian Times, actually. Yes, mm -hmm. portable water in this country. They say that the Galamse is affecting their ability to produce portable and people are being rushing. Water is being rushing in some parts of the country. Mr. President, will you now put your presidency on the line? Is it time yet? More than it is time. We just have a, a, some few months to elections. He said this two years ago. I think that having gone to the site and having realized that there are spoils of war, mm. you know, <laughs> when you get the spoils of war, mm. Now, those who succeed in capturing the spoils of war, they themselves begin to fight amongst themselves as to how they should share the loot. And that is what is happening under this administration. It's a sad commentary. Is it a failed war or a war in limbo? Nana says it's none of the two. What do you say? That's my final thing to you. Nana has a rebuttal. If not, we'll move on to something else. This war mm. against Galamse is in comatose, seriously in the intensive care. Because if we, uh, and he sat here and said that there's a pushback. Pushback from where? From the people who are- No, 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 no. The pushback is from their own people, the present appointed. It's not the Galamseyers. That for me would have amounted they to- They don't have an interest in it? I'm saying that, that for me would have been pushback. Probably he's misusing the word. Pushback is the people you are fighting against. Hmm. But where you yourself, so that's an extension of the president, or those hmm. people, this, uh, uh, those guys, this uh, you, uh, they, 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 that's extension of the president. That's, the president's hand cannot reach there. So the president has asked that they should cut their hands and add. So, that, so it's the president who is fighting. It's the president. That they are the president's agents. You are suggesting that the president is involved in this? That is why I am saying that. His presidency is now on the line, if he doesn't know. If he's watching me today, you're, you say you put it on the line. Now, it is now on the line. I am saying that. What does it mean? It means that 
He should now come and tell us whether he's going to resign or he will not contest the 2020 elections. Because nobody, nobody, and in fact, when he was talking, there was no water in his mouth. I would put my presidency on the line. It's not on the line. I didn't know you were an actor too. Who told you that? <laughs> you are trying to mimic the president. <laughs> but that's why he, that's why he, that's why he says he, he talks. That's that, how he's. So for me, the fight has collapsed more so because of his own people mm -hmm. who have been assigned the responsibility, and yet they are the ones we are seeing engaging in acts that are detrimental to the success of uh, fighting the, the menace. Okay, thank you. Nana, you have a rebuttal. I could give you one minute and one minute and then we'll move on. Two, 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 no, two, no, one, one is fine. No, two quick things that I wanted to say, if you allow me. First of all, I think that Mr. Malaba should relax. I can understand his fear in the mm. president contesting the 2020 elections sure. and the insistence that the president should resign before. Ah, but but let me tell you that it will not happen. Secondly, you make a very interesting Is the president's point. job on the line? He said I, he I, won't. I don't think so. Have we got in there yet? I don't think so. Okay. Don't, Mr. Malaba, I can understand this fear, but don't worry. Um, I can also say that, you know, Mr. Malaba makes a statement that investigations may point at the watchman when a watchman even actually goes to make a complaint at the police station. Mm. Now, okay, if you know this, and as a lawyer, then we have said that investigations have come in. So why mm. don't you wait? If the investigations actually dictate that indeed the minister that made the complaint is culpable of mm. any offense, mm. we go there. You have stated, you have stated here on this platform that investigations may lead to different outcomes. Mm. Why are you drawing conclusions even before the investigations get anywhere? You did that Why? in the Airbus matter. You organized no, a whole press conference no, no. after the president referred I'm the very, matter to the special I'm prosecutor. Very, I'm very... The I'm party very, organized a press conference. So against the same measure, you have done that before. That is an authorized ruling. Okay. That is not an investigation. Mm. That is a judgment of a court that says that these things happened. Okay. There's a difference between that and an investigative but, procedure. But, but you're going to ask, you're looking for the names of government official one, intermediary, Nobody blah, blah, blah. Doubts. And, and then you go out ahead of the investigation to mention names. Listen, nobody doubts the fact mm. that there is a ruling. And the ruling okay. says, Watch the microphone. government official one mm -hmm. and intermediary five. Mm -hmm. and I don't know if you're asking me to get into the No, we, we'll, get to the, we'll get okay. into then, it. So. Then let me leave, it, let okay. me leave that aside mm -hmm. for now. But all I'm trying to say is that you have mentioned that investigations may come out, may bring different outcomes. Right. Why are you therefore not patient okay. to allow investigations, at least even to go a bit further, mm. so we can have an idea of where, you know, the pendulum is swinging towards. But just from the very beginning, okay. you've drawn your conclusions, and then you go back to give an analogy mm. in which you are seeking to say that investigations may bring different outcomes, which is which. Thank you. Um, Council, yes. one minute for you, you see. We are here doing analysis, mm. and in the analysis, you respond to some attempt to make your opponent look good. Mm. Why did I say what I said? I said it because they are seeking to say that because Frimpong Boatin was the one who uh, reported the matter, mm. he's as clean as a, 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 a crystal ball. So my response is that investigations sometimes may even lead to the watchman being accused. So I've wait. not said that he has committed it. Mm. I'll be the last when investigations have not been concluded to accuse somebody. But I'm saying that you can't for now say it is it is premature ejaculation for you to say that he has he has <laughs> he has early. He, no premature ejaculation of what i've not said said what it, you are ejaculating of what like the uh -huh. intercourse no i've not you are saying it. <laughs> so for you to say he's clean mm -hmm. i'm saying that i am i am the one who is even saying that it is too early for you to be saying those things okay that's my point okay now now somebody sent me just sent me a message that it it, it appears that for your party for example, in the matter of the PDS, when issues went up, you said that, oh, it was government that identified the, the errors or the fraud or whatever it is mm. and called for the investigation. And that seems to be the same principle you're using in the matter of Galamse, that, oh, we are the same persons who brought your attention that there's something going wrong. So we deserve applause mm. rather than condemnation. Why is that so? 
I have, I have, I have, I have a bit of an issue with that. And, why? Why? And, and let's try and issue? explain it here. So, if you became the independent whistleblower, okay, in PDS, would you have done anything wrong? A government that is able to scrutinize itself mm. and when it realizes flaws, informs the people of the country that listen. Yes, we undertook this arrangement, mm. but we realize that there are problems with it. And so we are going back with a fine tooth comb over the details mm. to look at it and take corrective measures where there is need. Mm. And you have the opposition mm. that comes in to say that the very government officials okay. who are making these decisions are the ones who stand to benefit mm. from these arrangements. Don't you think that that government deserves some form of applause because, listen, if indeed the allegations they are making are true, mm. or they were making turned out to be true, what it meant is that that Mr. Kenoferata and other ministers, other ministers and individuals who were involved made decisions against their personal interests. Mm. That's where that's where the case is. That needn't come in if the opposition will learn to stop making baseless allegations. Okay, thank you. Baseless allegations Page. meant to tarnish mm. the in, the image and reputations of individuals. Listen. What was happening to the report and, and report of the PDS report, the 30-day report, uh, the, uh, what do you call it, Ambrose Dairy report? I've said, I've said this before, that all those reports form the basis mm. of the referral to the police CID and the BNI. Where are we now in that matter? You, you are with the Energy Ministry. Where are we now in that, in that matter? Um, I would want to engage you from here, and then I'll give you the full details. But remember also that even though I'm in the Energy Ministry, I do not work for the Ghana Police Service or the BNI. Okay. We have done our part. But you have an interest in it as Definitely, Energy but we have done our part. We have referred it to the appropriate authorities, and they are doing their work. I do not think that they would want me to sort of, quote and unquote, interfere by giving out information when they haven't even decided to do so. It hangs on your neck as government. I do not doubt that fact, but you also need to allow institutions to do their work and own the work that they are doing. Okay, page three of the Daily Guide says, NDC avoids Mahama Airbus scandal. Now, members of the opposition uh, National Democratic Congress appear to be avoiding the Airbus SE scandal that has engulfed a top government official of their party, which the ruling NPP is claiming is former President John Dramani Mahama. They are now saying that the details of the said officials and his brother named simultaneously by investigators in the United Kingdom, United States and France are immaterial and unnecessary. A historic judgment at the UK Crown Court of uh, Southwark, London, has Seeing Airbus SE being fined a record three billion uh, euro uh, pounds, sorry about that, three billion pounds in penalties after admitting it had paid huge bribes on an endemic basis to land contracts in 20 countries, including Ghana. UK's SFO, the Serious Fraud Office, in documents sent to the court, quoted at least five million euros as payment of kickbacks to a top Ghanaian official through the intermediary, uh, who is a close relative of a high-ranking elected government official in Ghana during the NDC administration. You, you held a press conference at Malva yesterday and you say, well, knowing the identity of these persons will be immaterial and unnecessary. Are you running away from the uh, Airbus scandal, Amalba? How do we run away when we issued a press statement mm. signed by the former Attorney General, who herself is a, a former government appointee mm. who would have given a legal opinion on the matter. Mm. That is the NDC position. What what the Attorney General wrote mm. was is the NDC position. So was we are not right now. Was it not premature? Premature in doing what? That's that's the word on the streets. Premature. That statement that statement only re echoed mm. what happened in the UK court. That statement indicated simply that no government official mm. in Ghana Mm. received or was paid any bribe. And don't forget that this is a matter in which agents and employees mm -hmm. of Airbus were standing trial mm -hmm. for some criminal offenses. No previous government official was a party to that matter. Mm -hmm. No government official was standing trial in that matter. Right. The, 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 the issue was that the employees mm -hmm. as well as the agents mm -hmm. 
okay. had breached some rules. Mm -hmm. And so they were standing trial. I have heard people say that, particularly the MPP say that, because um, the court proceedings, mm -hmm. it was stated that the agents said they had paid money to government officials, official, Ga official one. Ghana government officials, and stated official one. No, 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 go there. You are, okay. you are misleading me. Sorry. No money was paid to official one when you look at uh, the, the rulings. Sorry, make your point. Yes. Sorry. So they have paid money to government officials. Mm. And they then proceed mm. using the court ruling. Mm -hmm. They then proceed to say that it means that former President Mahama was paid money or took bribes. And for that matter, he should come out and... Uh, open his mouth and talk. Some say the earlier the better. Why? For God's sake, why? If I accuse, say, your station mm. of wrongdoing, I've not mentioned you, I've not mentioned your cameraman, mm. on what basis would people be forcing you to come out and speak when I've not mentioned you? If I come and ask you mm. to come out and speak, if not because you are a very patient person. Mm -hmm. Won't you slap me? On what basis are you going to speak? On what basis are you going to speak? Uh, for God's sake, on what basis? When also, indeed, if they claim that, let's assume, let's assume, mm -hmm. without admitting, and gain, let's assume, without admitting, mm -hmm. that government official one was President Mahama. Okay. Or is President Mahama. Mm -hmm. Where in the court ruling, mm -hmm. does it say that former President Mahama took money? And there's no evidence to show that the, the place we bought was inflated. There's no evidence. There's no evidence. There's no evidence. In, in, the, in the debate wow. in Parliament in 2011, the Honorable Sai Chairman Sabon, so I'm sure, and uh, the Honorable Member for Echima Mpunrawa Beja, the now Sports Minister, they raised concerns about the prices because they said they had made some checks and they thought that it had been inflated. Hasn't Nana Akufado made allegations that the rich hospital over, uh, was inflated? Hmm. Hasn't has Nana Akufado made that reckless accusation that the rich hospital was over inflated? When you want to know whether or not a project has been over infla have been inflated, what you do is to go for what is called a value for money report. Mm. You don't blow hot air. So let's resort to that document. There's also financial due diligence. Mm. And yes, uh, two days ago, a uh, former uh, finance minister came out and spoke about it. Mm. So when you look at all the permutations and you look at how the MPP is dealing with this matter, mm -hmm. I know, I know, I know that their government is under a barrage of allegations of corruption. I know they are, I know it is overweighing them. I know. And so they are looking for a twin brother. And they are looking around, they can't get the twin brother. Mm. And they still want to get that, that twin. Because the evidence doesn't point to corruption. What does, and it, that, what does it point to? It only points to agents of Airbus who were a subject matter of a trial in the UK and who Conducts, whose conduct breached the OECD uh, 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 convention, which convention says that you don't take, um, for, uh, let me just paraphrase it for you, uh, 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 your commission should not be above a certain range and all those things. The Airbus themselves in their admission in court said that they influenced the sale of those things to the countries that were listed. The Airbus themselves. So because they know that if they had not made that declaration, they could have lost their right to sell any planes at all. Do you all. know what is and called... And that's, that's damning. That's the, uh, do you know what is called the rules of natural justice? Odin, Aterum, Patum. That was a one-sided story. Okay. And the fact that it is said in court doesn't mean it's true. Indeed, I'm going to court this, this morning. Mm. I can vouch that if I get to court, there will be a witness who will swear the oath, but when he enters the witness book, he will lie. The first thing he says will be a lie. 
whether whether he said the lie at the tail end in the middle. People swear off and go into the witness and lie. That's perjury. Good. And that's what happened when people appeared at Parliament. Yeah? Mm. They swore off and they were lying. So until you hear from that, that's the point I want to mm. tell you. Until you hear from the other side, that's uh, the government of Ghana. Mm. Uh, if the government of Ghana was also in that forum, then we will know whether what they are saying is true or not. Okay, so but you cannot take one sided, but we welcome. So, so that, that explains why the names of government official one, intermediary one, blah, 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 were not mentioned. That is one of it too. Okay. And, and, and because it is wrong for you to begin to apportion blame onto somebody when you've not heard him speak. Okay. Now, now stepping for me, the NDC says they are not running away from the airbag scandal as you want us to believe. And it's actually much ado about nothing. As Amalba says, you are looking for your twin brother because you've been hit with scandal. So you are looking for equalization. Is that the case? It's very sad that that is the line in which they want to go. And I find this an, an unnecessary diversionary tactic. Allegations have been made, facts have been put out there that question the integrity of former President Mahama. Mm. And what the NDC is seeking to do is mm. to divert attention by saying that the NPP has allegations against it and so it should answer those allegations mm -hmm. and leave former President Mahama alone. What happened to the principle of accountability? What happened to that principle where you made certain decisions at a point in time? Responsibility, mm -hmm. answer for those. Why is pre pre former President Mahama being mentioned in all of this? Mm. Because the documents show that uh, there was an elected government official mm. between 2009 and 2015. Mm. Now, those who could have influenced the purchase of, of those airplanes were the president, the vice president, mm. or the minister of defense. Mm. These are the three key individuals. The minister for defense was in parliament on that occasion when questions were being raised, General Smith. First and of he all, said I don't that, even he want said to that consider him because and, he's, and, not, he's not an... El the minister of defense is not an elected position. Well, but you're saying that the people who will be considered, I'm saying that on that occasion when Mr. Saichi Mensa Bonso and um, the sports minister, uh, now sports minister, were raising the questions, General Smith was in parliament. What he said in that tape, which we have, was that... Um, the the minority at the time were getting it wrong because there are specifications. So the pricing they saw were not military grade prices. I'm not, I'm not even going to mm. go there because you see, I'm referring I'm referring to elected government right. officials. Okay. It was not an elected mm. government official. Absolutely. The only elected government official among this triad mm. who stayed from 2009 to 2015 is President John Dramani Mahama. Mm. Listen. He can just come out and say that I did nothing wrong. Okay. I know nothing about this mm. Airbus issue. And that ends it. The, or that, he can come out mm. and come and give an explanation. And remember, there's been a lot of talk about, mm. uh, you know, people have running family and friends, government, right, and all this. Right. At the core mm. of this problem is that an elected government official in this mm. country mm. during the NDC regime mm. had a relative, mm. brother or otherwise, mm. act as an intermediary between that elected government official and a company seeking to sell something to Ghana and in the process mm -hmm. made at least five million pounds. The NDC, if the NDC wants to tell us mm -hmm. that the fact that someone... Three million pounds, five million euros. Okay. Mm -hmm. The fact that someone used their blood relations mm -hmm. with an elected government official to make money, which remember OECD principles frown upon... Mm -hmm is nothing to them then we know where they stand on corruption on accountability mm. and on taking responsibility it, for their own yesterday the, the ndc says and, and there's a quote says therefore to the extent that the said government official one is not cited for any offense in any of the uh, approved judgment his or her identity is totally immaterial irresponsible crass and I, I, I do not even want to go ahead spending any more adjectives. Sami Jeffy says this. it's a compendium of speculations, amorphous personalities, sorry. and nebulous insinuations and innuendos. No problem. But here's my point. Hmm. If I can use my blood relations with an elected government official hmm. to influence government's purchases okay. and make for myself 5 million euros. And the NDC is saying mm. that they see nothing wrong with that. Okay. Then we should know the kind of government we have suffered. Okay. Between 2009 and 2016. Thank you. Atanam, welcome. Why? 
Okay. What are we hearing on or reading on WhatsApp? Mm. Coming in this morning. Good news that all suspected cases turn out to be negative. The health ministry should up the education, tell the NDC to credit Ghanaians with some level of intelligence because we don't need soothsayers or rocket scientists to tell us who is government official one. As Mahama is corrupt and not fit to lead Ghana again, say Uwuku Aswobi. Now, Johnny, I just don't understand my people, low MPP. How can 500 excavators get missing in this small Ghana? Not even bicycles, but excavators as big as they are. Got, are Someone they is definitely tricycle, keeping tricycle, them. They know who it is. If Nanado wants to really win this year, he has to sack and arrest most government officials. There's too much joking around. Airbus recruited an agent and promised the agent success uh, commission. That commission was paid in violation of British law for which Airbus was fined. And we are here fighting because we hmm. believe without any indication from anywhere that part of the commission was used to bribe our government officials. How pedestrian can we be Koshi Bado who are evil from Denu Junction King King member of Tamale Central NDC serial caller hmm. we Ghanaians know uh, that the president will clear these people by himself because when investigation is ongoing to go further the president himself will fall victim in this galamse bruhaha good morning to honorable Amaliba. Some of us are surprised to see Ekufuado always covering and defending corrupt scandal against his appointees. This government has raised Ghana uh, to the third most corrupt country in the world. Let's rescue Ghana from the hands of most corrupt and incompetent leadership. From Osman Brukusu in Tamale. Uh, Sami Bwache um, from Asamanke say, I don't think NDC have anything concrete to wash this unprecedented Airbus scandal and I don't think they can use the so-called stolen excavators. The only option that will help them is to find a way to elect new flag bearer. That is all. Let's say no to Mahama and NDC. A uh, hashtag for more for Nana to do more. Regards to Honorable Sintim Abuaje of Asaman Kese. Uh, this one is morning, Johnny. Is Accra a Galamse zone? If not, how can you transport excavators from Galamse zone to Accra with this huge among, uh, amount of money, huge amounts of money? Kwanza from Kwesi Mintim. Now, this is from Masawudu in Bantama. The NDC's propaganda press conference led by Sami Jinfi is totally bogus and waste of time. The Airbus company have accepted paying huge amounts of bribe to government officials, one at the time of NDC in government. My question is, who is government official one? Regards to Honorable uh, Nana Kwame Asamwa Boating. Good morning, Johnny. Please tell Nana Damwa that we are not going to congratulate or applaud the government when they are the same people who have created the mess. We are not impressed. They should set up. Ghana is watching. Good morning, Johnny. So all these shoots to kill Galamseas, the fight against illegal mining, the lead to the lynching of Major Mahama, uh, the seizure of excavators, money pickups, gold and guns, were all a scheme to enrich the MPP and the Kufado. Lord have mercy, the dead breadwinners who lost their respect and, and all those who have lost their livelihood through this will definitely not forgive Ekufuado. Popo won Elembele. Only God knows who is saying the truth between these two parties. May gods of our land judge them all in Jesus' name. As for me, I love New Day because of Johnny. Inspiration dance at the end of the show. Bella, please don't be jealous. So, um, Ademola from Pokwasi. Okay, it's enough. Thank you very much you. indeed. And uh, someone just sent me a message from the Western region. It says, uh, good morning, Johnny. The water situation isn't good at all here in Sekendi, Takradi. Uh, the water rationing as a result of the Galamse situation with the Prairie River is having a toll on us weeks with just a single flow. That's what they're saying. And uh, good morning to Mr. Tamian and Fawson as well. Good, Tom. good morning. Gentlemen, I thank you very much for your time. Is that uh, all? Yes, we have closed. Mm. Uh, now thank we all our God. We have closed. Okay. So we are grateful. Uh, Nana Damwa speaks for the Energy Ministry. He's also a member of the NPP's communication team. And lawyer Abraham Maliba is the team lead for the NDC's legal uh, committee. He's also a member of the uh, communication team. Gentlemen, thank you very much. And I wish you all the best uh, in court and then over the weekend. Yeah, where, where's the chilling at? <laughs> Nana Damwa <laughs> will tell us. You won't declare.